Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. Hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to the that sequel to the Quran or the Bible, which is God's word, 11. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. So he says, well, listen, now we quote the Quran. Allah says in the Quran, Awalam yara kafaru. Do not the unbelievers see. These atheists, these agnostics, those who say that there is no God, can't they see? Awalam yara kafaru. Anna samawati wal arda kana That the heavens and the earth were joined together as one unit of creation. Fatakna huma. And he split them asunder. And the biologist, you ask him, where does life originate? He said, in the sea, in the water, in the maya. Where did you get that from? He said, no, it's our discovery. When did you make the discovery? He said, yesterday. Because 50 years is yesterday in the history of man. So an illiterate man in the desert, he couldn't have known this. He said, never. Well, listen. Allah tells us through Muhammad, He said, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ And He has made from water every living thing. أَفَلَا يُمِنُونَ Will you then not believe? You atheist, you agnostic, you man of science, will you not believe? He said, look, where did Muhammad get all these ideas from? Plant life, animal life, vegetable life, vegetable, every life, He says, has got pears. 1400 years ago, in the desert, this man is talking. Where did he get the idea from? He says, Subhana lazi khalakal azwaja kullaha. He says, Glory be to God, who has created mates of everything. Imma tumbitul ardu, of that which the earth produces. Wa min anfusikum, and from among yourselves, of the animal kingdom. Wa mimma la yalamun, and of the things that you know not. Male, female, positive, negative. He says, created mates of everything, of the things that you know and of the things that you don't know. So these are for people with eyes, with sins. They can see that this is not the work of Muhammad. An illiterate man in the desert could never have been able to utter these things. It is from the source of creation who has been giving it to him. That this is the book of God. Ladies and gentlemen, we unfortunately have just about a minute left of question time. All good things have to come to an end, so we can only accommodate one further question. Uh, Mr. Didan, I have impression that my question has been misunderstood. I didn't want to challenge you or to hurt you. I just wanted to ask you for some advice for a person who doesn't believe. I just wanted also to ask you for advice because I am not a believer. I would like, I would, I would want to believe in Islam, but I just want some advice. Yes. Uh, do you not feel that there was sufficient advice? Did you require further advice? Yeah, because On I, the didn't, basis I didn't have the impression that my question has oh, been really understood. So you want to know what the basics yeah. are or what the reasons are for a person to actually believe yeah, in one God? Yeah, which reasons, which yes. advice would you give to a yes. person who is a non-believer? See, number one, we have to realize that there is a necessity for belief. If you don't believe, you can't move an inch, you can't bat an eyelid. We believe. The very fact that you believe that if you come there, stand before the mic, and when you utter the words, the words will reach me. If you didn't believe, you wouldn't have taken that step. If you didn't believe that you will be visiting this hall and listening to a lecture, you wouldn't have come. So belief is fundamental, is basic to any move that you make. Now, without belief, believe in what? That there is a creator. Number one, that somebody made this machine. Man, woman, he made it. And that this machine is not given without instructions. Every machine carries with it instructions. Now mind how simple that mechanism is, you get instructions, your washing machine, your hair dryer, your motor car, anything, everything, you need a book of instructions. This most complicated mechanism, the human being, created and left without instructions, he says, no, he has to be given instructions. And God Almighty, we believe that there is a creator, and this creator through his messengers, one of us, he has been conveying those messages to us, directions, instructions to us. 
whether those instructions remain in the pristine purity or not, that is something that is now debatable. But the instructions were given. And it is through those instructions alone can man find ethics, can man find morality. Without these instructions, there is no ethics and there is no morality. Man being an animal by nature, he will behave like animals. It's only because you believe that there is a creator and this creator said that thou shalt not marry your mother, you will not marry your sister, you will not marry your daughter. We say we believe, we believe, we believe. You say no, I don't believe then the person is nothing better than the animal. See, the dogs and pigs, the way they behave, he said, well, I behave just the same because I'm an animal also. So you have to believe. But now what are you going to believe? Where is the source of, of, of that belief, instructions, which is not contaminated, which is not spoiled? In the origin we say all prophets of God, all messengers of God were divinely ordained. But the messages, because they were not preserved, God sent messengers after messengers. Messengers after messengers. This is His way to rectify His creation. And in that system of sending messengers to mankind, Muhammad was the last, the culminating point in that messengership. And he left with us this book. And if you read this book with an unprejudiced mind, if you haven't got one, I can present one to you if you haven't got it. This is an English translation of that book, the Quran, with an index, anything that you want to know, you want to know about God, open G, God, more than 140 different references, that you say, I can't believe in God, so he reasons with you, this God of the Quran doesn't say, I'll fix you up and I'll twist your nose and I'll, you know, I'll put your pull out, no, 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 he says, Awalam yaral lazina kafaru, he says, how can you not believe in God? This is Kaifa Tatfuruna Billah. So how can you not believe in Allah? Wa kuntum amwatan, seeing that you were non-existent, you were dead, and He brought you into being. Thumma yumitukum, and will cause you to die. Thumma yuhiikum, and will bring you back to life again. Thumma ilayhi turjaun, and to Him will be your return. So if you start reasoning, and you see how true the statements are, that you were non-existent. You, I, everybody, non-existent. The men of science will tell you that this earth was a molten mass. Billions of years, you know, there was nothing on this earth, no life. The thing was all boiling, boiling, boiling. And the vapors went up and came down, and the vapors went up and came down, and over a period of millions of years, it started to cool. And then life started to germinate, and so on and so on. So there was a time when mankind was non-existent, and God brought you into being. Very true. And now you're gonna die, but that is not the end. That you now, there is something we knew, which is other than the body, that real you, now that real you, which is the driver of this body of yours, will be made to account for your actions. It's only natural that this person, like Hitler, look, he got away with it. He incinerated six million Jews. On account of him, 40 million people died in the Second World War. He's just gonna get off spot free. If he says, no, I don't believe, and there's nothing there on the other side, that means he's free, finish. No, 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 he will have to account for his deeds. Everyone will have to account for his or her deeds. It is a natural, you know, sequence of our attitude and behavior. And this book explains all that. If you haven't got one, this book is yours. If you haven't got one. You got it?
every time I listen to Amididat, I'm like, I'm saying to myself, what a man, you know? I just love the way he answers people. And this is what I keep on saying about people that ask questions. Uh, this woman should have asked a question, hence she came back, if I'm understanding um, things right. And she clearly um, explained herself, elaborated what she was trying to um, ask. And if anyone has the link to the previous video, please um, drop it. I'm more than glad to react to it. This is a person that's willing to learn, willing to understand as to what makes one word better than the other. And she just doesn't say because I believe in it or because this 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 that he talks about the corruption that has taken place and how people have admitted that they haven't been able to preserve it hence this um hence muhammad comes along and brings the last um message from god being the last messenger if you believe he's the last messenger and um how the god of the bible the quran doesn't try to fix you but asks you how you cannot believe in god probably due to what uh contents are in the quran you know uh let me know what you guys actually think about this video and the question the lady asked what are your thoughts what's your point of view feel free to comment down below if there's anything you want me to react to give me the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video